Hi and welcome to the tshirtgun.com video on how to fill a CO2 tank. Today we're going to show you how to fill both the standard pin valve tank and the on-off valve tank, both of which are standard use on our launchers. The first step is to make sure you have the right tools to do the job. To do this, you're going to need the basic fill station, the digital scale, your CO2 tank, all of which can be purchased on our website. You're also going to need a standard crescent wrench and a 20 pound or a 50 pound siphon CO2 tank. Let's get started. All right, step two, you're going to take the nylon washer that comes supplied with the fill station, place it inside here, place this on the tank, and hand tighten. Once you get it hand tightened, you need to take your crescent wrench and continue to tighten it the rest of the way. For the next step, we're going to be using our pin valve tank. We're going to take the universal fill adapter, the UFA, and make sure our knob is backed out on it. Then we're going to screw the end of the tank into the UFA. After it's screwed in, we're going to take the knob on the top of that and engage the pin valve. Turn it until you feel it engage, then give it about another turn. Now it's time to chill and purge the pin valve tank. I'm going to open the main valve and shoot two or three seconds worth of CO2 into the tank, making sure my exhaust valve is in the off position. Now that we've filled the CO2 tank, it's time to purge it. We're going to open the exhaust valve. And you should notice the tank will be getting cold to the touch at this point. Now that our tank is purged, we're going to make sure our scale is in position and on. We're going to hang our tank on the scale and zero the scale out. We're going to fill the tank by opening the main valve. Once again, anytime this main valve is open, we make sure this exhaust valve is in the off position. We're going to be filling the tank with 18 to 20 ounces of CO2. Now that our tank's full, we're going to take it off the scale, make sure our main valve here is closed, and we're going to open up the knob on the UFA to disengage the pin valve. Once that's disengaged, we're going to open the exhaust valve to bleed off the excess air. Now your tank is safe to unscrew. If you're using an on-off tank, it's a little bit different. You're going to screw it into the UFA not worrying about the knob on top of the UFA, but instead on the side of the tank. That's where all the airflow is controlled. Clockwise closes, counterclockwise opens. Next, we're going to chill and purge the on-off tank and prepare it for filling. To do so, we're going to make sure this valve is open, which is counterclockwise. And we're going to shoot two or three seconds worth of CO2 into this tank by opening the main valve. Before we do this, we definitely want to make sure that this valve, the vent valve, is off. Anytime you open this valve, this needs to be in the off position. Now that we've shot two or three seconds worth of CO2 into the tank, it's time to purge the tank. To do so, I'm going to make sure my main valve is closed and using the exhaust valve, we're going to vent the CO2 out of the tank. You should notice the tank starting to get cold as you do this. With our scale already in position, we're going to hang the tank on the scale and zero it out. Before opening the main valve to fill the CO2 tank, I want to make sure that our exhaust valve is in the off position and that our tank valve is in the on open position. What we're going to do is fill it with approximately 18 to 20 ounces of CO2. Now that our tank's full, we're going to make sure the main valve is closed we're going to close the valve on the tank and we're going to open the exhaust valve to bleed off the excess air. Now the tank is safe to unscrew from the UFA. All right, now that we're full, it's time to go shoot some t-shirts. We'd like to thank you for your purchase from t-shirtgun.com and as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email us or call us via our toll-free number. Thanks again.